the continued learning about neural networks with Java, I'm going to be doing the time series tutorial using the Neuroff Neural Network Java framework. I wanted to first do the image recognition tutorial, but there was a bug with the software which prevented me from making a, a network. I was looking at other frameworks, but this uh, Neuroff project is very friendly for a beginner so I am sticking with it. So let's have a look at the time series prediction with feed forward neural networks. Okay I'm getting a bit lost here. It is relatively easy to make a neural network learn a problem perfectly. However, we don't just want it to learn a given problem, we want it to be able to generalize the solution to the data it has never seen before. Learning the problem perfectly but not being able to predict on data it has never been shown is called overfitting. The number of nodes is directly related to the balancing act between learning the problem but not generalizing and conversely not even learning the problem. This is why the number, number and topology of the nodes should be considered but as this is a beginner's guide we will ignore this and anyways it is much more fun to play with the networks than follow a recipe. So what we will do is try some tropics topologies out, i.e. vary the number of hidden nodes and vary the number of hidden layers. Experimenting with the basic sine wave. Let us uh, start simply. Shall we using a Neuroff create a network with five input nodes, ten hidden nodes and one output node. So choose networks, multi-layer perception in the okay file new new project New file, new network, multi layer perceptron, uh, neurons, input nodes, five hidden nodes, ten, one. Okay, that should do it. Uh, okay, so let's see what this looks like. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, where do I get these training sets from? Uh, da -da -da -da, online demo application downloads data sets used in this tutorial. Okay. So where are we? Uh, now load the BSW51 training set. So go to training, new file, date, data set. 
data set. Yeah, yeah, this is right. BSW51 supervised number of inputs 5, number of outputs 1, 5, 1, load by file. Wait, I'm going to assume that's a typo. I'm going to and set the delimiter to be a tab character. Okay, so let us train the network. Uh, finish. Click, click the train button. The only parameter to change is the ma limit max iterations. So set this to be a thousand click train and watch what happens. You should see something similar to the following. Aha. So drag and drop the data set. Click train. What's happening? Uh, limit max iteration set to a thousand. Train. Hmm. I didn't go as expected. Click the train button. The only parameter to change is the mat limit max iteration. So set this to be a thousand. Click train and watch ha what happens. Zero. Okay, my graph's a bit different. Um, total network error. Uh, I say similar as depending on the initial weights connecting the neurons, the error curve will vary. For example, all I did for the following example were example run was randomize the weights and rerun the training. Again, no other changing at all the weights initial how do I change the initial weights connecting the neurons uh, layer one okay next change the topology and see what happens so create a new network with three hidden nodes train the network using the same data set and don't change any learning parameters just the maximum it iterations there are a thousand you should get something similar to the following uh, so we create a new neural network Etron. Uh Two, five, three, one. Transfer function. Finish. So, uh, input vector size does not match the network input dimension. Uh, 
that's because I have six items and there are five why is it? Uh, whatever uh, da, da, da. oh that's that's why there's six items so it's predicting the next item which is that is that correct uh, 0 0.3746 0 0.39 mm. better than flipping a coin I guess uh, conclusion sampling data correctly and choosing the correct network top Topology can have huge effects on time series prediction. We have also seen how sometimes it is Im more important to have a couple of hidden layers with a few nodes rather than lots of nodes on one hidden layer. Neural network research and use is based in maths and statistics, but playing with them and trying them out is still the best bit. Okay.